What if I told you there was a very simple way that you could immediately steal all of your competitors' Facebook ad sales? And no, this is not gonna be due to some black hat techniques or some crazy targeting hacks. In fact, I'm gonna show you a very simple creative trick to harness the existing traffic of your competitors. If you're new to the channel, you don't yet know who I am. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at paidadvertising.com where we help businesses implement a scalable ad engine and scale e-commerce brands to seven figures with paid ads. We've profitably generated well over $30 million in client ad revenue. And with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. As I said at the start, how do you steal Facebook ad sales from your competitors the ethical way? So here's how people usually view their ads funnel. Okay, they're first going to say like, all right, someone's in the top of funnel, so they don't yet know of my business. Okay, and then they're going to say, well, the next logical step is they're going to interact with my content for the first time, they're going to view an ad of mine. So they're going to take an action, there'll be a video viewer, or they're going to like one of my ads, they're going to comment under one of my ads, they're going to follow me on Instagram, they're going to like my Facebook page, so they become a Facebook or IG engager, or they're going to view my website, they're going to click on the link, but they're not going to take any action on the website, they're just browsing as of now, then if I scroll down, down, the next logical step is while well, they're going to take a first action on my website, they're going to add the cart, they're going to initiate checkout, but they're not yet going to become a customer. And then finally, they become a customer of mine. So they make a purchase event on the website. And this is how people define their typical funnel. Okay, they have top of funnel here. So someone doesn't yet know my business middle of funnel is they either interact with my content for the first time and or they take action on my website. And then there's bottom of funnel. And then people typically will make ads based on that they're going to make ads here that are going to be very broad, because they're like, well, I'm trying to target my top of funnel cold audience. And then they're going to make ads that are going to be a little warmer, they're going to talk about the product, they're going to talk about the brand and they're like, well, this is for my middle of funnel. And then they're going to make ads they are going to be super call to action heavy. And they're going to be well, this is for my bottom of funnel audience. And while they do that, they're going to limit their audience, like here, they might make an ad set, and they're going to limit their targeting to only show people who have viewed a video engaged with Facebook or Instagram, saw the website added to cart initiate checkout. And here, they're going to do retargeting, and they're only going to go after people who as an example, added to cart and initiate checkout to push them to buy. And that's how a lot of people still view their ad funnel to this day. But this is a very egocentric funnel because it only focuses on you. And I want to show you how you can utilize a similar funnel, but at the market level to steal sales from your competitors. So if I move over here, here's the right way to look into your funnel. First step is a prospect doesn't yet openly admit to themselves their desire or need very, very broad as broad as you possibly can be with an ad. Bear with me here, you'll understand more about that as we get through the next step. Now a prospect knows they have a problem, but they don't yet see the connection between their problem and to any product or solution in general. Okay, they just know they have a problem, they're problem aware, let's keep going. A prospect knows they have a problem, they know a few solutions out there that exist and ways to fix that specific problem, but they don't yet see the connection to that problem or those solutions that they know of and a product or solution like yours. Very important word here, like it's not exactly your product. It's a similar product to yours. This is going to be important when I'm going to get back to the stealing part of traffic. Let's keep going. A prospect knows they have a problem. They know of a few solutions. And now they see its connection to product like yours. So now essentially is they 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 are aware of not necessarily your product, but a very similar product, perhaps a direct competitors of yours. Again, we're getting closer and closer to what stealing is going to look like. Last but not least, a prospect knows they have a problem, they know of a few solutions, they now see its connection to your not like yours, your product and business and is just awaiting the right moment to buy. Let's zoom out for a second and go here, you can steal all of this traffic from your competitors by not limiting yourself to retargeting and by instead targeting through your creatives messaging. Here's what I mean by that. If I go back to this here, this step in the funnel to an extent links back to that right here, because and this is when I think a lot of people get this wrong, your competitors, they're also running ads, and by running ads, they also get video viewers, they also get engagers on their Facebook or Instagram page, they also get people who view their website, that is positive for you. Because when these people are here, they're certainly not here yet, they haven't bought 
hot, but they're now a little bit warmer. And if all you did on your side is do ads and limit your targeting to only target middle of the funnel audiences, you would miss out on the fact that you can create what's called product aware ads, which speak to an audience that knows they have a problem, knows of solutions to that problem and knows now of products like yours, which basically they essentially know of, of, of your product to an extent, right? So it's like, all you have to do now is you have to show them, Hey, I too am an option in the market. I know you've seen that, but I am an option in the market. And you do that by doing us versus them static ads as an example, because we all know static ads by default are usually not always, but usually easier and better to do for a slightly warmer audience because there's less space to show a message. So you do so for again, a warmer audience. So it's like you do an us versus them ad, or you do an ad simply presenting your product, calling out the price and the offer. Because now at this point, all these people need to know is just one slight small push in order to buy another style of ad that works great here is UGC or UGC mashups or testimonial based ads. Why? Well, somebody who is product aware, or perhaps most aware, they need social proof, they need trust in order to make that buying decision. So if I've seen as an example, I'm, I'm looking for a pair of red sneakers, and I saw an ad of a pair of red sneakers from a competitor of yours, I was like, huh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And then I go to their website, I look at it, but I don't add the card or anything, because it's probably not the right time to buy right now for whatever reason. Before seeing another ad from this company, I now come across an ad of your company, which has has a bunch of testimonials of like UGC style videos mashed up one after the other. And I'm like, damn, you know, this looks like a sick company. And, it, and they also sell red sneakers. Like I've been looking for that actually literally yesterday, I, I checked out an ad about that. Let me check out these guys. And then I click on your website, and I just end up loving your brand and your product more than the one I saw yesterday and end up converting, I would have never been into your funnel if you had limited your targeting to this if you had only targeted these people and these people, what I'm telling you here concretely in this video is you go broad with your targeting. But by targeting through your creatives messaging, you will, yes, of course, attract people that are in your middle of funnel as an example that I'm giving right now, but also the ones that are in the middle of funnel of your competitors, which is what you want to do at the end of the day, like these people, again, you're going to have the biggest middle of funnel that you can possibly have stop thinking of your funnel as your again, your your, your egocentric funnel or like your own business's funnel. No, it's the market's funnel. It's like everyone in the market. That, that's why I think a lot of people are saying like, yo, you got to love competition, because it's like, well, the more people are in the space, the more they're warming up your own audience. So the moment you have a good product, the moment you have a good brand, the moment you have a great website, the moment you have solid middle of funnel or bottom of funnel marketing, you want bigger competitors than you, you want them to spend more than you because it's a hell of a lot more expensive to spend money here by here, I mean, this right, really expensive to advertise here. But this is where the biggest total addressable market is. But it's like, hey, if you're lucky enough to be in a space where you're number two, you're number three, you're number four, you're number 10 in that space, hell, you just got to play here. If you do this part, right, you're gonna siphon out tons of the sales of your big competitors who will advertise higher in the funnel. And this is how you ethically steal sales on Facebook ads from your competitors. If you made it this far in this video, and you are an e commerce vendor info product business making at least $50,000 a month, check out the first thing in the description down below and book in a call to speak with myself and the team at fitadvertising.com so that we can become your paid ads partner on a meta Google and or TikTok. And with that being said, if you simply want myself to personally review your ads, your business offer product, name it and work with you one on one, well, check out the second link down below to join our one on one ad engine consulting program. On that note, I'm gonna wish you an amazing day. Check out other free videos on the channel for some more useful marketing tips and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.